All right, so here we are talking about play and void, which is going to be your means to demystify how do I play major scale X at fret Y. Um, you know, when I'm at some place on the fretboard, I'm going to want to play in D. There's D. Makes me think about one of the seven patterns. There's G. Makes me think about one of the seven patterns. So how do we get there quickly? Um, it's going to be by doing this exercise called play and point where first just like go back and play through one through seven and see and make sure it's kind of like on the tip of your tongue so to speak so do that if you don't feel like it's already just blown there okay cool so i haven't done that now instead of staying in c you're going to stay at one fret any fret will do i'm just doing the second fret for ease of knowing no names um and you're just thinking about the hand movement and after each hand movement, pointing and saying, I just played the major scale, blah, major. Um, so, yeah, like I'm going, I'm playing number one, just thinking about the hand. Oh, yeah, I learned this here. It's me. No big deal. Now I'm playing number two, just thinking about the hand movement. B flat, A sharp, and sure enough, if you, you know, if you start on the root in any of these, that's what's going to come out. Now I'm playing number three, just thinking about the A movement, the one we learned around the third fret, fifth fret rather, and I've just played the A major scale. Um, so I just did one, and C, two, B flat, three on the A, and we get to, here's G, we're doing number four, just thinking about the A movement. Number five, just thinking about the hand movement. F. Number six, just thinking about the hand movement. I'm in E. And lastly, number seven. I'm in D. Um, cool, so do that at that part. Uh, if you have any brain parts, refer back to see, like, I forget where the root is in seven, I forget what a number six is altogether. Um, and do it in somewhere in this part of the fretboard, and then do it somewhere up here where uh, you're going, I'm playing one, I'm in F, I'm playing two, I'm in B flat. Um, great, so just do that in order a few times. Maybe make a note of where you are you're around 2.30 in your counter right now. Pretty quickly that's gonna get easy. You're just gonna be going one, E flat, two, this, three, that. Great. So then the way we're going to really cement it is the same way that we really cemented the seven fingerings in C, which is going to be doing them out of order. So you're just going to randomly choose to do it four, then seven, then six, and it's going to be the same exact thing. Play and point is the name of this exercise we're doing, so it's going to go, all right, I'm playing seven, just thinking about the hand movement. I'm in D. Now I'm playing two, just thinking about the hand movement. I'm in B flat. And you'll already have done them in sequence a whole bunch of times. So if you find this isn't easy, go back and do them in sequence some more. Um, and you know, pretty quickly you interact with this for an hour. Like I was saying in the lesson, I'm playing three, I'm in A. It's pretty quickly going to become here I am, I need to play an A, I'm going to play number three. You know? um, and that's how this whole thing's going to work. Uh, is, you know, you're just going to be somewhere on the fretboard, presumably beginning an idea or the key changes or some situation where you have to quickly figure out which dots work. And you're going, all right, I need to play the there's a seven, one's in front of it, and so forth. Um, and we're going to do exercises in the future. That's going to address how do I flow between the seven fingers, you know, like the things where we play two strings at a time and shit. They lay end to end the same way in every key, of course. Um, so these are all things we're going to address. So for right now, we are solving how do I play major scale X at fret Y by doing this play and point stuff, and then within the key of C major A minor, overlapping the pentatonics on top of these ones at the frets you can most readily picture them. And if you finish all that and you find yourself thinking about the pentatonics in other keys, that's totally fine, but that's pretty much what you're looking to do. And I think it's like two hours, 90 minutes worth of work, um, except that do play in point until your eyes bleed and just get quicker and quicker at I'm in this key, I'm in that key. Um, so there you go. And you know, if you look at a theory book, you're playing the right notes and so forth. It just works. Um, and across all the strings, you can just get your bearings. And we are bass players, so it would be really important that we started on the root every 
time, but for us we can kind of just start anywhere at the finger end. It was just trial and error, right? But like I was saying during the lesson, everything you already play, even if it's been based on chord shapes, falls into these fingerings by definition. So both noodle around and you know against uh, put on a song that you know is in C and play in C a whole bunch, or draw you know bring up a backing track in C or whatever. Um, but also like kind of look at the stuff you usually play if there is such a thing like my I do lead guitar stuff and just be like alright it's there I was like in five and then it's like you know just, just start having these little mini oh yeah so like in that other song etc etc but the meat of what we're doing play at point for major scales and our pentatonic overlaps.